Windsor West. Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Premier. Premier, elementary school teachers have called your latest central offer offensive, not least of all because your government appears to be flip-flopping on class sizes. Teachers with the Catholic Board have voted overwhelmingly in favour of a strike. Secondary school teachers in the Peel region are just a few days away from joining Durham and Rainbow District educators who are already engaged in job action. While your government continues to dismiss their concerns and cause chaos in our schools, families and students are undoubtedly The Minister of Economic price. Development is warned. How many more students need to miss class before the government finally takes responsibility for the havoc it is causing in our schools? Well, Mr. Speaker, you know, I, uh, I want kids in school, I want teachers and support staff uh, in school, and I know that that's where they want to be, Mr. Speaker. I also know that in order for us to uh, reach an agreement, Mr. Speaker, we have, to, we have to go through the collective bargaining process. I would have thought that that party, above all others, would have understood that a strong collective bargaining process was what was necessary. So we have a new process in place, Mr. Speaker. There's a local Remember component from Hamilton, East and there's a central Second component. Time. The central component of the uh, of the bargaining process is ongoing, Mr. Speaker, and you know those decisions and those agreements have to be reached at the table, and that's where we're going to have the discussion. Thank you. Speaker. Thank you, Speaker. I'm just wondering if the Premier remembers Bill 115. While the Premier continues to skirt responsibility for the mess her government's cuts are creating in our education system, New Democrats have been standing with teachers in Pickering, Oshawa, Sudbury and Manitoulin. Families and education workers across Ontario are outraged by Liberal cuts to education, forced school closures and broken promises to keep class sizes manageable. Ontarians know that the provincial government holds ultimate responsibility over our education system. When will this government finally stop dismissing the concerns of Ontarians and answer for their clear plan of education austerity? You know, people come from all over the world to see our publicly funded education system, Mr. Speaker. Our kids, our kids compete with uh, students from all over the country, all over North America. We're at the top, Mr. Speaker, in terms of literacy rates, in terms of our uh, of the ability of our students. We have one of the best educated workforces in the world, Mr. Speaker. And the fact is that I I know that having a strong collective bargaining process is necessary. That's why when I became the leader, we worked with the union leadership with the federations, Mr. Speaker, to set up a new process. They had input into that process, Mr. Speaker, because we had actually learned from a process that had not worked as well as it should have. So that process is, is taking its course, Mr. Speaker. There, It's tough. It is tough bargaining. There is no doubt about that Answer. because we have said and we know that there is no new money to put into compensation. That makes the bargaining tough, but Thank it's you. a collective bargaining process at 